the secret to turning your health around. The next one, low-fat chocolate milk. It's not only good for your bones, it just may help refuel your body, especially after a hard workout, because research suggests that after a hard workout, athletes need carbs. They need protein, fluid, as well as electrolytes to help them recover. And that's where low-fat chocolate milk comes in. And we can even call it the new sports drink mm -hmm. because after a tough workout, that's what your body needs. It needs protein to help rebuild that muscle, carbs to refuel the muscles, and electrolytes to replenish what you've lost in sweat. And then such an important element, we always talk about avoiding dehydration. After a hard workout, and I'm talking here, folks, about a workout where you actually work hard mm -hmm. and you sweat. I'm not talking about <laughs> not walking like, around the chair once and saying, right. okay, time for dessert. Or, or even your typical session at the half hour session at the gym. I'm talking, you know, an hour or two of hard cycling or something like that where you really need to replenish what your body has expended on that workout. And the thing I like about low fat chocolate milk, make sure it's low fat, is that, you know, it has a lot of the things that the regular sports drinks don't have. You need the protein in that to help build up your muscles. Also, vitamin D and calcium to help build up your bones, uh, healthy bones. Also has vit uh, the B vitamins, which helps boost your energy too. And uh, so, you know, that's one of the reasons I think it's a, a good mix of carbs and protein. It helps it really be gr a great recovery drink. And it's a bit of a treat too. And this is what mm -hmm. I always say to people, yeah. use this as a treat. Okay, I just went out, I worked hard, and now I'm going to not only refuel myself, but it's a nice treat because it tastes, it tastes good, yeah. and, and that's where it gets back to when you're working hard, because you, you bike, I bike, mm -hmm. you know. One of the things I love to do is, is I love to kayak. I love to yeah. do these things where you're getting out and you're working hard, and there's nothing better than afterwards. Usually within 30 to 60 minutes, you actually should refuel your body and eat something, because your mm -hmm. body's looking for protein and glucose to restore what you've used up during all that exercise. Yeah, there's nothing better than after a long ride like that, sitting around with your riding buddies. I like to drink a little nice chocolate milk and it just, it's refreshing. And it actually, there's some evidence that shows it actually helps rehydrate your body more than just the protein and the carbs and all that stuff. It helps your body absorb the water that's in the milk a little better. Probably the most important thing that, that we see is people when they're starting a new workout regimen is not thinking about the importance of hydration. And that's where you really need to focus on, if you're starting a new workout and you wanna really push yourself a little bit, make sure you're staying hydrated, mm -hmm. make sure you're focusing on replenishing all the things you're, you're using up during the workout. And what I don't wanna do is give people a free license to, oh, I just worked out, now I can have five muffins. No. That's, not, that's going to negate <laughs> all of the work you just put in. But after a hard workout, there's no question about low-fat chocolate milk, a great option, mm -hmm. stay hydrated with fluids while you're working out. That's really important because probably the biggest cause of, of muscle fatigue as you're getting into a workout an hour into it is dehydration. So you gotta replenish those muscles and we're gonna have more information yeah. on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Coming up, the top five safety tips you need to know before getting in your car.